Now, like, don't get all shook up, man. We're not here to cause trouble. Oh, man, we're here to uncause it. Just a boyish prank, you understand, Mr. Kovac. Brewster never meant to keep that camera. Out. Why get salty, Dad? Cool it, will ya? I mean, we made a special trip all the way across town, you know. What Rooster's trying to say is, uh, we thought you'd show us those pictures you took tonight. Why, you're not in any of them, huh? You mean you printed them already? Yeah. Stay out of there. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 56 to 76 in Morningside. Ambulance traffic, code 2. All units, code 9. A tenement fire, a tenement fire. Prince Street and Washington Avenue. Repeating all units. I'm Mike Kovac, freelance photographer. Excitement is my business. I find it by poking, prying, and listening. When I find what I want, I record it with my camera. It's fun, money, and people. I don't know which I like best. that old woman there. There's a whole book written in that face. Well, that kid is a non-property owner. He enjoys a good fire. And that girl. Hey, some joker just took her picture. If her picture makes the paper and Cagle spots it, we're sunk. I want that camera. Got it. You better wait over here, Mr. O'Connor. Hey, man, let me take your picture. Give me a hand, Kathy. Hey, sorry, Dad. Like I didn't see you coming, man. I was practicing my dancing. In an alley, you practice dancing, huh? Well, you know, like the old lady don't like me using up the carpet. I lost them. Okay, Esther, where are they? Where's who, Dad? Hey, maybe if you clue me... You're not fooling around with gum machines now. That camera's an expensive piece of merchandise. You know you buy yourself a part interest in a grand larceny rap? Look, Dad, I ain't even seen your camera. Like, I'm just minding my own business when you cats fall in on me. You could have called the cop. And prove what? Give you much trouble? A little lip is all. Rooster's got the camera. I know you'd show, Nana. I told the boys I can always count on my daughter. I can always count on you, too. Released from prison only a week. Already you're in trouble with the police. Oh, you got it wrong. It ain't the police I'm hiding from. They'll be here soon. Let's get out of here. We'll bring you a cot and some blankets. It may be a long, hard winter. See you, Marty. Would you like to tell me what this is all about? Herbie Cagle. He thought six years in prison had softened me up. Got a couple of the boys together and had a try for me in Albany. 
I was lucky to get away with not the worse than this. Why? I thought Irby Cagle was your friend. The team men proved I had a lot of unreported dough stashed away. They couldn't find it. Cagle thought maybe he could. I rode the rods down from Albany, bleeding every mile of the way. I was laying here unconscious when them kids found me. Oh. Yeah, those kids. How can you trust them? Trust them? They look up to me. They've been looking after me like a mother hen. Not once did any of them ever hustle me for any graft. You did okay, huh? You did fine, only one hitch, no film. Mike Kovac, 227 West Waverly Place. Come on. The trouble with you is you don't understand how it feels to be a big shot. No. But I do understand what it's like to be his daughter. What do you mean? I thought I was out of it ten years ago when you walked out on Mother and me. Oh, we managed. I made a life without a father. And now you've come back. And you'll come back again, too, when you find you need me for something. I filed a report on the stolen camera, then rushed to my apartment. Speed is vital to a freelance photographer. The trick is to shoot the best possible pictures you can and get them developed, printed, and sold before the next guy beats you to it. Now, like, don't get all shook up, man. We're not here to cause trouble. Oh, man, we're here to uncause it. Just a boyish prank, you understand, Mr. Kovac. Rooster never meant to keep that camera. Very nice pad you got yourself here. Look, I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, don't let us hang you up, Dad. We're just gonna browse around. Out. Why get salty, Dad? Cool it, will ya? I mean, we made a special trip all the way across town, you know. What Rooster's trying to say is, uh, we thought you'd show us those pictures you took tonight. Why, you're not in any of them, huh? You mean you printed them already? Yeah. Stay out of there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You know this is breaking and entering? Well, not really. Let's see. We rang the bell. You let us in. We're your guests. Of course, at the party should get a little rough. Well, it was just one of those things. <laughs> a real tough bunch. You're tough like a coat of cheap paint. First bad stretch of weather comes along, it peels right off. Maybe you're the paint remover. If you don't get your boy out of that dark room, we'll soon find out. Nothing was disturbed. Thousands of dollars worth of equipment, yet nothing had been taken, except... It wasn't an accident. The only things missing were the negative and the print of the girl. Someone was determined to keep her picture out of the paper, and that made me equally determined to find out why. But the kids had overlooked one fact that the human eye is the original camera. And my eye remembered that photo. Pop, I hope you don't mind me going through your portrait file. Mind, but of course not. Hey, you know, I keep meaning to come by all the time, but one thing happens at another, you know. I know, busy. It is a proud thing to see my son's work in every magazine and newspaper. Only one thing, Michael. What's that for? A small criticism. Never enough light you use. Pictures are meant to be seen, you know. Okay, Pop, I'll work on it. Hey, this is what I'm looking for. It's all flat lighting. Same angles, too. It's perfect. See? These lips? These are her lips, Pop. Certainly, those are her lips. 
Pop, I'm gonna have to cut up some of your pictures. Cut my pictures? You still have the negatives, don't you? Oh, a complete file. These eyes, Pop. They look like her eyes. Yeah, these ought to do. This ought to do for the eye. You haven't touched your teeth. Pop, this is important. I gotta find this girl. Here in the neighborhood, there are plenty nice girls. You know, I don't even know this girl's name. I don't know where she lives or anything about her. But I gotta have a picture in order to help me find her. Out of nine million people, you are going to find one girl? Impossible. Well, you're probably right. But I gotta give it a try. I think there's a picture story in it, Pop. Yeah, now, come here, look at this. That's her. Now all I've got to do is find her. I had to begin someplace, and the logical starting point was the neighborhood where I'd seen the girl the night before. But I was in their territory now, an outsider without a passport. It was a tight-knit, hostile neighborhood, distrustful of strangers, suspicious of anybody. You could get someone to tell you the time of day, maybe. You know who this girl is? What's he want? We give him back his camera? Yeah, but we also give him a hit in the head, remember? Maybe it smartened him up a bit. We better keep an eye on him. Hey, hold it. Hey, what was that for? Typical teenager, I'm doing a series. Would you like to see a picture in the paper? Well, that depends. Oh, you mean on what's in it for you, huh? Sure, that's what makes you a typical teenager. Well, I'm paying a buck to everyone who gives me permission to use their photograph. <laughs> now, here's one I took yesterday of a girl. I didn't get a chance to pay her. Who she is? You sure you're a photographer? Well, if I'm not, I wasted a lot of money on a camera. Good, Marty. 
Rooster here spotted someone around the neighborhood asking questions. A tall, thin guy with a mustache. He swears it's Herbie Cagle. Well, this time I'll be ready for him. Uh-uh. You stage a shooting match here at Sub Lemons for everybody. What else am I gonna do? I crawl out that front door, I'm a dead man. You don't go out the front door. We're taking you over the roofs. There'll be a panel truck waiting at the end of the block. Yeah? Then where? Spot I know outside Great Neck. They never find you in a million years. Ah, uh, you're good boys, all of you. Marty will never forget. Only one thing, Marty. It's gonna cost. What don't? There you are. This should do for a nanny. When you need any more, it's here for you. Better get your things together. We'll be back for you in half an hour. It's cutting it pretty thin as it is. Man, like, what a square. Did you unload the gun? Uh, I'll never know who was not. Oh, a dingling like that ever kept alive so long. <laughs> hey, don't knock. He was up there in the top rung one. <laughs> You'd never know it. He looks just like any busted up old con. Yeah, but the difference is, is that this old con has got half a million socked in a hole somewhere. And we better be close when he digs it up. Oh, we'll stick like glue. And yeah, what about after? Marty Delgado won't like playing Santa. Well, Marty's pretty badly shot up. I just don't think he's going to recover. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Keep away from me. I don't know nothing. You afraid the boys will stomp you again? They do that kind of regularly, don't they, huh? I'll show them. You know, you can show them right now. You don't want to see them hurt that girl, do you? They ain't gonna hurt her. They're just protecting her. I'll tell you what. You take a message to her for me, and I'll give you five bucks. Oh, bug off, Dad. They make me anywhere near that condemned tenement building. They drop the sidewalk on me. Here's your five. A condemned tenement building, the boy said. There was only one in the neighborhood. What do you want? My name is Mike Kovac. I'm a freelance news photographer. I took your picture last night at the fire. Well, what are you doing here? Well, it looked to me like you were in trouble, and I thought maybe I could help. You're mistaken. There's nothing wrong. Well, then... Well, how come you're hiding out up here? Please. Just... Please go away and leave me alone. Say, hey, who's in there? No one. That's far enough. All right, Norma. Bolt the door. All right, wise guy. Start talking. You're Marty... Marty Delgado. Oh, what do you know? I said talk. Where's Irby? Well, who's Irby? Father, I... I don't think Irby sent him. I, I think he's telling the truth about being a photographer. I saw him last night at the fire. That's just a blind. I know how Irby works. Are you talking about Irby Cagle? Like you didn't know. Well, if you're hiding out from him, you can stop right now. He's dead. Dead? Yeah, the Albany police had a ski shooting contest last night, and he wound up as a clay pigeon. You're lying. The kids told me they saw him in the neighborhood less than an hour ago. Well, they know better, because all the papers have been carrying headlines about the shooting. I told you not to trust those kids. All they want is your money. 
It's some kind of a trick, I tell you. Those kids wouldn't lie to me. Why, they look up to me. Besides, they wouldn't dare try anything on Marty Delgado. They know how I used to handle double crossers in the old days. Oh, I get the picture now. Marty, you've been had by a bunch of kids who don't remember the old days. Shut up. All right, but you better face it. All they want from you is the money you're supposed to have stashed away. And once they've got that, they'll kill you as fast as Herbie Cagle would. And her, too. Not while I got this. Well, we'd better get out of here right now. Marty, open up. The truck's waiting outside. All right, I'll open up. Only first buy me a paper and slip it under the door. So maybe this cat just looked like Irby. Anyone can make a mistake. Sure, kid, I understand. Honey, what do you got the truck waiting for? If Irby's plowed under, who am I running from? Okay, Marty, cards face up. Open the door, no one gets hurt. Otherwise... Otherwise what? You don't scare me, I got a gun. Point it right in your direction. Go ahead and pull the trigger. Go ahead and pull it. You don't think we're dumb enough to leave a loaded gun around? An old man like you, you might hurt yourself. I promise you, Marty, you make us do this the hard way. That pretty daughter of yours isn't going to look so pretty anymore. If you don't leave, I'll... I'll scream for the police. Go ahead and scream. No one's going to hear you. This door's so rotten, it wouldn't take them long to break it down. Wait a minute. What's the use, Father? Why don't you just give him the money? No. You heard what they said to do to her if you didn't? You don't understand. I can't. It's here. It's here? Sure, it's been here all the time. They just didn't know. Go find something to bash the door in. I'll wait here. You don't think I'm handed over those kids will just walk out of here, do you? They know Marty Delgado. I may be old and washed up and I may be a joke to those kids, but they know they'd have to kill me just the same. Where is it? Where did you hide it? Marty, there's only one way out of this mess. They're right. You could murder a man in the street in this neighborhood, nobody would even turn his head. But there's one thing that attracts attention the world over, and that's money. Now, if you take it and toss it out the window, in two seconds flat, the entire population will be right out front. Toss it out there? Are you kidding? That's everything I got in the world. Well, it's on next if you don't. Well, it's easy enough for you to talk. It ain't your dough. Marty, you've always been a big spender. Now, what can you buy that's more precious than your daughter's life? There must be some other way. Give me a hand. What's good money if you don't put it in circulation, huh? I always say if you're gonna do something, do it big.
Like I said, being a freelance photographer has its moments. It's fun, sometimes money, but always people. <laughs> It'll be a long time before I forget Noma Delgado. And as for her old man, at least he went out with a big splash. Beautiful, Michael. Just beautiful. Except... Oh, I know, I know, Pop. Not enough late. <laughs> 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 